down, shaking together, running over in their lives. We pray for those who desire to give today but may not have the finances to give. We pray, Lord God, that you open the windows of heaven upon them, that they will have income, they will have opportunities so that they could be able to sow on the next time. So we thank you for you do all things well. We trust that you will bless this house. We trust that you will bless every family that is viewing right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Good morning, Liz. Yeah. Welcome, yes. welcome. Yes. You know what time it is? Put it in the chat. Come Live on. is live. Live, Live is live. live. Let's, Let's do it. Let's go. Good morning. Go. Welcome, Sunday. Happy Sunday. Yes. Thank you to the praise team. What a beautiful, wonderful work yeah. experience. Yes. Hope you were singing in your car in the living room. However, make your shout out to the Lord. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wonderful. <laughs> now, we have something special coming up. June 2nd, we want to okay. celebrate. Yes. Our yes. We want to celebrate. celebrate. Congratulations. That's what Pat yeah. said, right? Yeah. Congratulations. Yes, all words are made up. Yes. Congratulations. We want to celebrate you on June 2nd. So what we want you to do is email us, email us your pics, and you'll put your name in there, your school, where you came from, whatever. Put that in the email, send it to us, and we want to do a roll call on June 2nd. So make sure your family is watching. June 2nd, we're going to do a roll call and celebrate our 2024 graduates. Yes. <laughs> now, last week. Ooh, last week. Last week. Last About week. last good. week. He was dropping some gems. Yes. yes. Dropping some yes, gems. Sir. You know, I, I, I was here uh, working. Amen. Thank and you. Yes. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Everybody. Big up, big up, big up. Yes. Um, but it was just amazing because, you know, you, you watch it after the fact. You okay. Know, and, um, uh, I sat there and I was just listening. And even as he was talking about the graduates, he was just going in. Yeah, you know, from the top. Yeah, it was just yeah. like everything was just starting. And I was like, oh, we're going in already. Yeah. So, you know, it just really blessed me to hear, you know, uh, the reminder, you know, uh, patterns are something we need to recognize yeah. and identify because if, if we don't, if we don't pick these patterns out and in our lives it just throws us off mm-hmm. you know our relationship with god is just going to be compromised yeah that's yeah you yeah. know uh he said i got i got some notes that's right <laughs> i got notes too <laughs> yeah oh, i got some notes he said when your patterns do not yield the results you want to get it's mm-hmm. time to get other context Ooh. or other content and reach out beyond yourself there is so much in this. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Man, I was like, you know, a lot of times, you know, in, in your walk with God, you know, because, you know, the thing about I love, I love about our pastors is that they really are genuine about helping people mature. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, develop their relationship God with God. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, um, you know, when we talk about patterns and it's just, you know, something that you fall into and you don't even catch yourself. Yeah. Yeah. His message is just like, wow, what's going on? Mm-hmm. How did I end up here? Right. Mm-hmm. And, you know, in Christ, what we have is the, the upper hand because we have the Holy Ghost. Okay. Yes. yes. You know, and Pastor yes. had the Holy yes. Ghost. Yeah. You know, yes. Helping us and, and guiding yeah. us to teach it. Man, and, and to, to know that sometimes those patterns allow us to fall into these ruts, these holes, these ditches that, you know, stop us yeah. from really pursuing after the call of God on our lives, right. mm-hmm. you know, right. stop us from even, you know, building relationships with others, yeah. you know what I mean? And yeah. reaching out to, to someone beyond you, Absolutely. Mm-hmm. you know, because at the end of the day, if you're the only person that's talking to yourself, there's a problem. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's well, you, have to lean, you have to lean on the Holy Spirit. And you mentioned, because pastor, one of the things that he said was that the Holy Spirit will lead us into our truth. And when the Holy Spirit leads us into our truth, basically, when you're listening to him, he's going to show you you. Yeah. He's yes. going to speak yes. to yes. you. He's yes. going to reveal to you all those different things, the patterns that we don't recognize and that we don't see. Uh, it was just so much amazing things. But that was one of the things that I had on my note. There you <laughs> because go. Because it there hit me. Right? Yeah. It hit yeah. me when Pastor said it. And I was like, yeah, the Holy Spirit does lead us yes. into our truth. So that was good. It's, it's a blessing because you know, in walking with God, I, I always try, I'm not, I'm not by any means, you know, uh, perfect or anything, but I always try to challenge myself to, you know, be on the, be, be a watchman on the tower mm-hmm. because, you know, the Bible says we got to be sober and 
vigilant. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and, and watch. Because our adversary is out there trying to devour us yep. like a lion. Mm -hmm. So, you know, these little, you know, reminders that pop up in, in, in the preachings and, you know, um, that are highlighted. You know, I really believe it's God, you know, letting his people know um, wherever you may find yourself, it's not too late to break the pattern. Yes. You know, because sometimes you fall into it and you mm -hmm. just think that this pattern is supposed to be a, yes. a part of my life. Right. So you've adapted mm -hmm. to whatever the pattern is and you find yourself in a cycle yeah. mm -hmm. of repetitive, just ungodly stuff. Right, right, right. You know, not that you signed up for it or asked for it, but it's just something that fell into your life based on, you know, the influences, mm -hmm. like Pastor was saying, who's yeah. got your ear? Yeah. Who, are you, who are you listening to? Who's, yeah. who's talking Who's talking you to sleep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Called it a stronghold. Yeah. Label patterns as strongholds. And I think the blessing we have as believers, as citizens of Christ, mm -hmm. is that we have authority. He's given That's us it. authority. Yeah. Yes. And it can be simple as a daily decision. With the Holy Spirit's guidance, we have authority to break the patterns. That's it. Yeah. So every day the Holy Spirit can say, okay, remember, we decided we're not going to do this today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. he can lead you to yeah. go a different direction. Or if it's in front of you, it's just like, hey, Remember what we committed to. Right. This is not what we want to do today, or this is not the ways of God. This is not his kingdom. Yes. So we have authority, and that makes the, the difference between us and non-believers. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know, because we have the Holy Spirit who gives us authority with just simple decision, yeah. decision making, because God has given that to us. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's the power, the simple decision. decision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, where, where a lot of us have difficulties. Mm. It's the simple ones. You know, right. the Bible says beware of the little foxes. Yeah. The, the little things Destroy. that always slip through, that yeah. get by, that we overlook. Yeah. You know? And and the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God yes. for the Holy Ghost. Pentecost Sunday last yeah. week. So we celebrated yeah. receiving <laughs> yeah. the promise, the other mm -hmm. promise, another promise is the Holy Spirit is here, our comforter, our helper. He's here to lead and guide us into all, all truth. 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 So yes, thank God for his spirit. And we, those who may not have the spirit, you can ask for it. Yeah. Right. So the blessing of it, right. God give you yes. freely. freely. Ask for the spirit because that with him is wisdom. With him is guidance. With him is comfort. So that's what we need in this time to right. break those patterns and to kind of fulfill the, the assignment of God has on life. You said that, you know, sometimes the patterns makes us shift away mm. from the, right. from yes. what God has assigned us here on earth to do. And, you know, one of those patterns you can fall into is a pattern of being fearful. Yes. You know, when you do things to yes. run away from fear or you do things yes. because of fear. So breaking that cycle, if you recognize it, that's the mm -hmm. that's the um, the first step into the deliverance process. Yeah. What yes. call it is recognizing it. OK, this is the pattern. When this happens, I usually do this. Mm -hmm. All right. That's mm -hmm. fear. So you can have yeah. you have authority over the spirit of fear and yes. you cast fear out in the name of Jesus. Right. That was one of the things that actually I thought about. Okay. That, well, I was listening to Pastor, and and then it was two things. It was one that I realized that sometimes you get so comfortable mm -hmm. in your pattern that you don't even realize and recognize that there's a pattern. And Pastor mentioned yes. like toxic patterns, mm -hmm. so that's a example of a toxic pattern, especially yeah. when it comes to fear. Mm -hmm. And then you allow the fear to be that pattern that you pretty much like. You know, God's telling you to do things and right. you're not doing it because right. of that fear. Yeah. And because you allow that fear to just control you and you don't move, then you end up with the consequences. Yes. As Pastor mm -hmm. was talking about, like the consequences of our patterns. Yes. You end up with the consequences of not receiving a blessing that God was trying to give you because right. yeah. of your fear, because you're so fearful, right. you didn't want to move. So then there's a consequence of what you could have received or where you could have been, but you're not there. But God's so good that, yes. you know, he's, he's going to bring, right. you're going to get it regardless, right. but you create a delay. Right. He's right. going to come back. Yeah. He's right. going to restore because God is definitely good, but you create a delay that's unnecessary because of your pattern yeah. of fear. Yeah. yeah. Cause you gotta go through the consequence first, mm -hmm. and then it's like, all right, now I can bless you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> now I can bless you. So it was, yeah. it's kind of reminded me of a a sequel to get uncomfortable. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So it's like your pattern is probably your comfort zone. Yeah, it could be the comfort yeah. zone. So it's getting uncomfortable, it's breaking that pattern. And he said, uh, when you break the pattern, you open the door for opportunities. 
I believe mm-hmm. that was spoke of open the door for opportunities. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be, it could be uncomfortable being in that because you're used to walking a certain way. Mm-hmm. You're used to doing a certain thing every day. I do this every day, do this. But once I break that pattern, it's like, all right, now I really have to lie on the Holy Spirit. Yes. I don't know. I'm not familiar with this way. Yes. This way is kind of unique for me and mm-hmm. it could be for new believers too yeah. when they break the cycle of sin in their life and they're mm-hmm. like alright I'm not sure who I am without this right. I gotta know right. now I gotta meet on yeah. the Holy Spirit this is when your your conversations with God the mm-hmm. prayer when, when he said prayer usually allows you to look in the mirror and yes. see to reveal you, you, you mm-hmm. what you need to be changed mm-hmm. and everything so yeah God will change you as those patterns are being broken off of you Uh, Pastor mentioned it, that God will definitely use that as a way to change you. I have notes. There was a point. (laughs) There was a point. And this was the biggest thing for me that Pastor said. He said, we want God to change the fruit of a thing while we keep the roots the same. So, and it it really doesn't happen. It doesn't happen like that. And that's the thing. Like, we want to keep the pattern. We want to keep those cycles. We want to stay in our comfort zone. But we want to see some type of change, but keeping those things that are not really fruitful. Right. You know? Things that are not fruitful, we're trying to hold on to it. And we want God to change things, but let me be the same. Don't change me. (laughs) Don't change me. Just give me that change that I want. Give me that new job. Mm-hmm. You know, restore my marriage. But don't change me in the mm-hmm. process yeah. of trying to restore my yeah. marriage. Right, change right. them. Right. The- <laughs> yes, they're change the one them. Wrong. Yeah, they're the problem. <laughs> they're the problem. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was really really good for me. I mean, it's so many so so many good points. Mm-hmm. You know, from that message, it just you know allows one to sit back and you know reflect. Yeah. You know, because I, I like to reflect on, on how my walk is going with yeah. God. Because if, if I'm not maturing in Christ, then I'm stagnant. Yeah. And if I'm stagnant, I'm not producing. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So I, I, I have to I have to develop a, a, you know, with the Holy Spirit's help, a, a better pattern of yeah. my daily, you know, duties that I do. Whether mm-hmm. you know, you you're missing your your reading the word in the morning, you know, or praying in the morning or just that communi- the communication, the communion with, with right. God, you know, mm-hmm. on a daily basis, that, that in itself is, is life changing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's just the little things that really allow you to, you know, see some progress at, at different points in life. It's not all going to change overnight, but for the things that, you know, need work, you're going to have to put the work and effort in it yeah. yourself as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, right. he talked about patterns being a result of thoughts. Mm. So <laughs> that sums up your thoughts create your life pretty much. Yeah. You know, what you put in cre- creates how you establish your thoughts. Mm-hmm. You know, of course, nothing from without can defile man, but what's within defiles mm-hmm. you. So what That's are you so constantly good. thinking on? Yes. What are you constantly meditating on? What are, do you, do you meditate? Mm-hmm. You, right. Do you meditate on the word? You know, that's why our meditation should be based on the word, the word of God. So that's where our strength comes from. So we can develop good patterns, if you want to say. Mm-hmm. Good patterns based on the word of God and how it's supposed to develop our thought life. Yes. Mm-hmm. So because we, our actions are based on how we think. Yes. As a man think of in his heart, so, so is he. Mm-hmm. So that kind of resonated with me. It's like, all right, what are you thinking on? What do you yeah. think it's on? Right. To kind of show you right. how your patterns are and where you can start new patterns. Mm-hmm. So what do you put in? What are you thinking about? And how can we change from this point? How can we yeah. decide, okay, this is toxic. Let me just change this way of thinking. Right. And then I can kind of grow from there. I think taking ownership, you know, mm-hmm. of of the pattern that isn't good for us. You know, yeah. of of the unfruitful pattern, you know, that doesn't benefit us. Mm-hmm. You know, there's so many different perspectives as to what's a good pattern and what's a Right. A, a bad pattern right, yeah, and right. a good pattern is, is is going to help you move forward in, in the things of God 2020 forward 2020 forward you know what I'm saying <laughs> I'm just throwing that in there yeah, yeah. But, you know it's gonna it's gonna help you move in the right direction and uh, help you become more obedient to the things of of God and what God says in his word and how your life is supposed to be aligned with what God says in his word and 
you know, a bad one, a bad pattern is, is the opposite. It's going to pull you away. It's going to take the, the, the taste buds of, you know, spiritual hunger away from you. And you're not going to want to, you know, uh, spend that time that you would spend, you know, uh, on your knees because, you know, TikTok has your attention yeah. Yeah. or Instagram and, you know, and it's sad, but that's where a lot of our time goes, you know, yeah. it's being robbed by this little device that we hold in our hand. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you come to church and you sit down for the message, but that's all you did was sit down for right. the message yes. because you were thinking about TikTok and Instagram and my next post or, you know, how many likes I got, who didn't like me. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's so, you know, overrated, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And so much attention goes to these things that, you know, the main thing isn't the main thing anymore, right. yeah. you know, and that's our relationship with God. Because that's what's going to prepare us for our tomorrow. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's a toxic pattern. The yeah, getting stuck on social media, and you're in God's presence. You're supposed to be in taking the word, yeah. but you're thinking about you know how many likes or what you're going to post, or so yeah, that is definitely a, a toxic pattern. Mm -hmm. Like you're in church, but you're thinking about social media right. and then you get, you get lost and what's going on on there. And then it turns into, it turns into like a lot of people get into comparison mm. and then they create thoughts right. that are not really right. of God or, right. you know, like they start thinking of themselves in a, a negative way and, you know, and it's just, they get lost. We get lost, we get lost. And then from those being lost in your thoughts, then you create some type of spiritual warfare mm -hmm. in your mind, in your head. But then, but then you have to think, because Pastor did mention this last week, is it warfare or is it a pattern? Right. Because scrolling. you're, you're created, you're on, you're scrolling, you know, yes. and you're, you could, like you said, Abraham, you could take that time to be on your knees, to be praying but you're getting lost in social media, getting lost in your head because of the things that you're absorbing, you're taking in yes. and it creates, it creates different things that you don't even, sometimes you create, you think about things that you probably wouldn't even think about. It's because you took something in that right. you see right. and, right. and you just absorb something that's not even, it's not even really your thought. It's not, right. it's not you. Yeah. It's just switching up that that pattern. Mm -hmm. saying, you know what? I think it's this. I think it's the Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Take an Instagram. Yeah. 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 Fast from it. Yeah. yeah. Fast, <laughs> for a little right. bit. Yeah. Get yourself grounded. And the pastor talk about purity. And that's kind of like yes. Yes. fasting can help with the purity. Yes. It says mm -hmm. the singleness of thought. Yes. To, pur to purify yourself is like, all right, it's kind of like, all right, let me just get back into focus. Let me think on the right things. Mm -hmm. So that's how you can create a new pattern. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is yes. purifying yourself. All right, let me just, little by little, let me take stuff out. Let me take this out. Let me take this out. And then let me just focus on the word of God. Right. You have that right. inside. And then I can kind of live life through that. Let me start living life through the word instead of all these outside influences. Let me just get back to singleness of one of mine. Let me be yeah. here, be present. This is the mm -hmm. word of God. Let me re read the word of God, mm -hmm. apply it to my life. And then little by little, you can add other things to it, but it's seeking first the kingdom. Mm -hmm. yes. So getting that purity Absolutely. mindset yeah. helps with the resetting of your pattern. Yeah. And you start to change your patterns, right? Because ultimately that was the key thing that pastor was trying to get to us last week is that number one, recognize the pattern. If you don't recognize the pattern, the importance of praying, praying so that God can reveal to you yes. those things that God will show you yourself. Right. Like he, he's got it. When you pray, it's a mirror in front of right. you for right. God to reveal yeah. to you who you are. And sometimes we don't like, we that don't like that. We don't want, that, that's it right we there. don't want to see, yeah, we don't want to see those things, but yeah. you know, but it's very necessary Absolutely. because God will re reveal the truth to us yes. of who we are. And once we know the truth, then we can start breaking those things that God has revealed. So as we're, as God shows us those patterns, we can also start to create new patterns, good patterns. Yes. We can. Yes. Right. <laughs> We can just healthy start changing. Healthy yeah, pattern. healthy patterns. Fruitful patterns. Yes. Fruitful. Yes, resulting the fruit of the spirit. Yes. 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 Love, yes. joy, peace, all that. Yeah. 
I loved it. Last week's um, topic was very amazing. Pastor definitely did have a lot of nuggets and a, a lot of gems. And I'm going to take that into, you know, I, one of the things too is that sometimes we hear the word and once we hear it, it's done. <laughs> That's it. It's gone. Yeah. But we really have to get into the practice of, okay, what am I going to do? Like, what is, what is a step? Like, what can right. I do? Small right. step. What right. can I do to start to create that change in the right. pattern that right. may be a toxic pattern or it's something that, you know, we don't recognize. Again, we don't recognize in ourselves. So take some time to pray so that God can reveal to you the pattern that you don't realize, you don't recognize, but it's something that is keeping you stagnant. Yeah. That's not allowing you to grow or to move or to be the person that God called you to be. So I think that's step one. That's step Praying. Praying. Yeah. Yes. Praying. So God, mirror. yeah, put that mirror yeah. in front of you so God can reveal to us those patterns that, you know, that we're, we're doing that we don't even recognize. Right. Absolutely. And after you pray, you have the authority now mm -hmm. to make a decision mm -hmm. <laughs> every day to focus on God. Okay, yes. God show me this. Okay, now I need to know. Now I know what to do and what not to do. So we have authority over that, authority over the strongholds, authority over mindsets and patterns. We have authority now with the Holy Spirit's guidance. Yes. So now that I know what to do, what not to do, all right, God, I'm relying on you. I'm using the authority you have given to me to make decisions based on what you said I'm supposed to do a word. I'm not supposed to do it. Yeah. And you said a key thing. You said every day. Every day is a decision. Because yeah. it's a every daily day. thing. Yeah. It is a daily thing. It's a daily practice. Mm -hmm. It's a follow through. You have to follow through. Yeah. If there's no follow through, then then all that work was in vain. Right. Yeah. You got to follow through. You got to make sure that you're, you're seeing that release, that freedom, that we're stepping into it. Mm -hmm. That we're not just, you know, hearing about it and, you know, shouting about right. it, but we're yeah. stepping into it and walking, walking in free. that freedom mm -hmm. that Christ has paid for right. already yeah. on the cross. Yeah. It's not yeah. something that we have to work hard for. It's just we have to put our effort, our our part to what God has already provided. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Amen. You know, so what would you say to somebody who is struggling with a, a pattern of being committed just to show up and, and be engaged in church. So I was having problems committing to showing, being present in church. Being present. Mm. Being engaged. Like you could ask them a question after the preaching and, and uh, you know, they can share with you something, you know. Uh, uh, that they heard, that they were encouraged by, um, that really resonated within them, you know, but they're, but they're struggling. They just, you know, cause you know, you, you have people that smile on the outside, but you know, on the inside, there's just so much going on. They don't even know where to start. You know what I mean? They're yeah. like, well, I think I got a lot of patterns, but how do I just start off identifying one, you know, that's going to benefit me? Well, I think, um, I think there was two parts to your question. I think one, if it's trying to, they're struggling with their pattern of being present in church, I would recommend two things. One, before you enter into the building, pray. <laughs> Amen. Pray, yeah. you know, pray so that your heart is open to receive, your ears are open, not just your natural ears, but your spiritual ears, your eyes are open, you know, so I would say pray. Pray so that God can help you to stay focused and be present. Um, that's number one. And then the second thing I would say is make sure that you try to limit distractions. So if you are going to get distracted by your phone, right. <laughs> maybe leave it in a car, put it on the side, turn it off, do something. But try to eliminate those things that you know will distract you and will keep you from you know, being present and hearing the word. I think yeah. that's what I would recommend. Right. And it's the enemy's job to kind mm -hmm. of take the seed from everybody. Cause yes. you know, there's different kind of grounds, right? The good ground, thorny ground and all of that. So it's the enemy's job to come in and try to distract you from receiving the lessons mm -hmm. of the Lord. So having that mindset, okay, I'm here and I want to receive, you know, you got to come in with expectations. 
yeah. come in knowing that God loves you. God wants you to be blessed. God wants you to be whole. God wants you to be healed. You come in yeah. there with that expectation. That's kind of fertile ground for you to receive. Yeah. Yeah. Like you said, mm-hmm. when everything, no distractions aside. But first of all, coming with being the good ground. Like, yeah. Lord, I'm here. I may not know what step to do first. Yeah, that's good. But I'm open and I'm here and I want you. I mm-hmm. want to receive you. Yeah. So that's, you know, to me, just being open and mm-hmm. expressing that, God, I know you're here. I know you're real. And I'm open to you. So that's yeah. give me a and I step. need you. And I need because you. if you're there and you recognize that it's a pattern that you know that you can't really focus, you clearly know that you need God. There's right. a want there. Yes. So okay. yeah. That's good, Damaris. Hope y'all listening. <laughs> this, this is some some real good yes. depositing that you're getting yeah. here. And the Holy Spirit's the helper. You know, yes. Come back to that always. The Holy Spirit right. is that helper. Right. Acknowledging his presence, acknowledging that he exists and receiving him yes. into your life. Mm-hmm. And he gives you instructions daily by day, instructions. Give us this day our daily, daily bread. bread. He's the one that's going to give you the daily bread. So just recognizing the Holy Spirit's presence in your life and asking God for it if you don't know it or asking God for understanding of the Holy Spirit's job in your life. Asking God to open your ears to hear and, and how he functions in you. He may be a whisper. He may speak through somebody else. He right. may be a decision, you know, maybe like you know, a tug on your heart to mm-hmm. do something or not to do something. So just yeah. opening your heart to understand the Holy Spirit's job and its function in your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a, you know, a good place to start. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you all again for joining us and please continue to pray for our pastors yes. while they're on the road and those that are traveling with them. Yes. Continue mm-hmm. to pray for them and support them while if he's in your city, mm-hmm. please go and support go. Them. Miami. Yeah. All right. Miami. Miami's coming up for Orlando because Pastor did mention it. Right. We don't have, he doesn't have an actual show in Orlando. But you can go to, Miami. Can go to Miami. Yeah, yeah, Miami's not Miami. that far from right. Orlando. Right. Come yeah. on, man. Show up for our pastor. <laughs> right. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Abraham, would you mind praying this out? Absolutely. Father God, we just thank you for this opportunity to break bread and receive and hear from your spirit father god we we just lift up those that are watching lord god those that are listening in tuning in father god and taking time to hear about the message that was preached last week through what points touched us lord god and what points really resonated in us lord god we just pray that as you move in their lives as you touch lord god as you speak lord god may you Reveal yourself to them, Lord God. Let them know that they're not alone, that they're not by themselves, that they have you, Father God, that they have your spirit. And and most of all, Lord God, that there's no stronghold that is stronger than you, Father God. There's no pattern that can't be broken. There's no, Lord God, dark place where you won't go and find them out, Father God, and pull them out, Lord God, and bring them to the light, Father God. So, We're grateful, Lord God, for this opportunity, Lord God, to go deeper in the things of God concerning patterns. And we we just pray, Father, that as our pastors are out there and the worship team is is out there with them, that you would use them in in the concerts and and, uh, different venues that they'll be in, in, Father God, for your glory, Father God. Allow your spirit to touch, move, heal, mend, repair, restore, rebuild, realign, Father God, and renew, Father God, people's love and passion and and just hunger for you, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for everybody that sold. We thank you for the good ground that Live Church is, Lord God. I'm a witness, Lord God. We're grateful, Lord God, that we can, Lord God, sow good seed into this ground, Father God, in Jesus' name. Until we meet again. The Lord is with us. Therefore, Therefore, we will not fail. Live.